Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mash. Welcome to Amanda, Amanda the Adventurer. This is a horror game that was highly recommended to me, so I have to play it. And a massive thank you to everyone that's been supporting me on Patreon. Appreciate you all. Uh, episode one then. Uh, let's do this. I like how the E is backwards. So there we go. I'm sure we're going to get like a, an opening cutscene here. So let's enjoy this. And I'm Wooly. And I love apples. Do you like apples? Yeah, I like apples. Uh, yes. Oh, you get to type in this game. This is cool. I'm allergic oh, wait, I don't get a choice. <laughs> it, was, okay. it was three you letters. Never be afraid to try something new, but we don't even know where I love how all the inanimate is. objects are like just bouncing around, having a good time. Uh, do I know where the store is? Yeah. Oh, I have to click on it. It's right there. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We're at the store. It sure looks crazy. <laughs> and look, there are apples. Can you see apples? Yeah. Can I say apple? Oh no, I have to spell. Oh, this is a disaster. Okay, apple. Good job. Now we can make apple pie. Okay, so that was episode one. Uh, everything was fine. It was a bit weird, and I, I found it quite funny actually. I had a little giggle to myself. Oh yeah, this uh, painting in the background's uh, kind of creepy because she's like looking over at me. A bit weird. Okay, let's put, put episode two in. Um, I wonder what happens if you like. On purposely put things incorrectly, oh. so I might have to try that. Okay. We don't have much time. Oh, what's going on? You do, don't... Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. <laughs> Today, Amanda's to evil. But is a grandma a vegetarian? Can you tell us where the butcher is? Well, that's good. She can eat apples. Oh, wait. Can I tell where what is? Oh, the butcher is this. He looks a bit like Saitama. Hey, Meat Man! Ugh. Can you tell the Meat Man what we need? Apples? Meat. Meat? That's right! Oh no, not the sheep! He's not gonna like cut up the sheep, is he? Hey, thanks, Meat Man. Wait, he doesn't have any hands. <gasps> He's chopped off his hands and used them as meat! That's how you make profits there guys he's a good businessman this is a little weird some of that meat that meat looks like a tile something you wear with a suit up there the third one oh. okay oh i'm not looking forward to this episode three and what i'll do obviously is once i've done all three episodes we're gonna do it again and then we'll just put things incorrectly to see how amanda reacts so here we go episode three uh obviously i'm getting a really creepy vibe a weird atmosphere right now but i'm quite i'm quite liking it where's the sheep gone there's just a pile of fur. It's dark out. Oh, wool. Let's go home. Am I meant to click on the home? Yeah. Knock on the door. Amanda, what is wrong with you? What is going on with her face right now? Oh, she has like a really big mouth too. She's about to like eat me. This is worrying. I want to go inside. Okay. Sorry, Amanda. I think I pressed on the wrong thing. So she does get angry if you press the wrong thing. That's interesting. <gasps> She's possessed, guys! Oh my god. Uh, Knock? K-N-O-C-K? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. What is going on here? Hey, Amanda, you... You you got tall. Okay, Amanda the Adventurer. That was it? Yeah, I'll play it again. Strange. I feel like he, there's a lot of Easter eggs to this, you know? I feel like you, you, if I just played it one time and that was it, it, I'd be a little bit disappointed. But there's definitely more to it. So I'm going to go against Amanda and save the sheep. Because obviously she butchered the sheep. And this time, we're going to make sure the sheep lives. We're still creeped out by this painting, though. Still weirds me out. Let's do it. Okay, episode one. And this time, we're going to do everything differently. We won't do the same thing twice. Mm, I do like apples. I'm kind of feeling like Hi, an apple I'm pie or something right now. And I'm Wooly. And I love apples. Do you like apples? I do, but I'm going to say... How can I say no if there's three letters? No. I'm allergic to apples. <laughs> That's okay. You should never be afraid to try something new. But we don't even know where the store is. Do you know where the store is? I could just pretend to be really stupid, right? And then you get, like, punished in the game. I'm gonna click on the house. Do you know where the store is? <laughs> Do you know where the store is? Wait, can I click on the tree? 
No. Wait, what can I click on in the sun? It only gives me one option. No, 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 no. There's got to be more to it. I can't only click on the store, right? Oh, no. They don't let me try anything else. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We're at the store. He looks so anxious. <laughs> Oh, where's the apples? Wait, can I say apple? I'm gonna type in pear. No. Uh, wait, what does they? What do they want me to type in? That's not apple. Uh, let's type in something else. Banana. Say apple. Banana. Apple. Wait. I didn't type that. I did not type that. Wow, that's actually really cool. I like that. She forced me to buy Apple. Okay. Oh. Wait, is that me taking the tape? Hmm. I'm a little bit nervous. Wait, there's more buttons on this TV. But I don't think I can press any of them. No. Okay, let's put episode two in. Alright, we're going to try and unlock, unlock all the Easter eggs. Oh, it's you. Okay. We don't have much time. Whatever you do, don't... Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda. I'm Wooly. Don't worry, Wooly. I'm on your side this time. For Grandma. But is a Grandma a vegetarian? <laughs> Let's go to the ice cream place. Can you tell us where the butcher is? Oh no, she's getting angry. Oh no. The butcher? Okay, I don't have a choice again. Damn it, Amanda. Wait, what are they standing on? What is this? It looks like they've butchered something and they're just standing on top of it. Oh, poor Wooly. <laughs> he looks so scared. Can you tell the meat man what we need? What we need is some apples, right? Apple. Can you tell the meat man what we need? <laughs> tell him what we need. Well, that is just rude, Amanda. She, like, broke character right there. She's showing her true colours. Okay. She did that again, guys. Oh, man. Wooly. Wooly ain't got anything good coming to him. I think we're going to get the exact same outcome, but I guess we'll see. Can I click anything? No, I can only watch. <gasps> Look at her. I didn't even see this last time. She just slowly turns her head at him. Oh, man, that's worrying. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Okay, here we go. Episode 3. I, I'm just looking around the room, but there's nothing else for me to press. All right. Yeah, I think Wally's going to be uh, butchered. Yeah, exact same thing. That's unfortunate. I thought maybe we could uh, save Wally. I wanted to save Wally. Let's go home. Let's go over here. Can I do anything that isn't pressing the house? I just... What if I just take too long? Wait a second. I can press, like, between the house and the TV edge, like the monitor. No. Oh, man. Knock on the door. <laughs> I want to go inside. Let me in. Uh, it forces you down the same path. It doesn't give you a choice. That's, uh... That's a shame. Time to oh, that scared me. Oh man, no! <laughs> yeah, we're dead again. Okay, that's a man to the adventurer. All right, all right. You know that wasn't a bad game actually. That was pretty good. And hey, maybe there's more Easter eggs, but I don't know. I wouldn't know. And uh, I played it. I played it. Both the only ways I can think of playing it, which is doing it how she wants me to play, and then also doing it against her word, and I can't really see any other alternative. So, because that was quite short, and there wasn't, like, that much to it, I'm gonna play one more horror game, and then, like, merge the two into this video, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, welcome back, everyone. This is Paranormal Hunter, a little horror game on Steam. It's a demo. Uh, so it's free right now, so if you feel free to download it. Uh, this, I feel like this game has gotten quite a bit of inspiration from Phasmophobia. As you can see, there is a item box. 
and um, there is a shop as well where you can grab items and obviously is like a haunted house or something so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to give myself these items we're going to go back to the office uh seems like this is a multiplayer game um the trembling house which is the only map and it recommends uh, two players but it's just me so i'm gonna put one player there's no passcode i'm gonna start a lobby which is pretty cool and i guess a, like a lot of youtubers and uh, streamers and stuff like that would have a fair bit of fun playing this uh, with their friends uh, when, once it's uh, more developed i imagine but i guess we'll see okay this is pretty cool the graphics are quite good and in my hand now i have a holy crystal and i have the spirit sensor thing and whatever this thing is uh, actually let me check the controls here so it's WASD and then to change item is Q and uh, to use item is Z okay perfect so we are going to just double check the graphics which are fine okay all right we're gonna go back and it's Z to use whatever this thing is oh yeah it's a flashlight this is the flashlight um I'm not gonna use the first aid kit this is a crystal and it's not letting me use this so it's not doing anything right now so all I'm gonna do is just use the flashlight for now and we're going to go around this haunted house, which has been absolutely decimated. A lot of destruction here. It seems quite old. The floorboards are ripped up. Uh, yeah, it's just one big mess. But we're going to go around and we're going to go looking for... Oh, it's one of those creaky chairs. <laughs> I can imagine this rocking back and forth, you know, like such a standard horror movie trope. Um, kind of thought I saw a shadow or something there. Okay, let's uh, just keep looking around. Lots of chairs, uh, but there's nothing in here. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go around the house. We're going to explore all the rooms and see if we find any items or anything to pick up. And while we're at it, maybe we'll get some sounds. Maybe the ghost is nearby. Um, hello, ghost. Where are you? What do you want? See, we have to communicate. Uh, is there somebody in the shower right now? Anyone taking a bath? No. Okay. Let's leave then. Keeping my eyes open. It's important. And we've checked all three of those rooms. Uh-oh, what's that noise? What's that and where's it coming from? Hmm, maybe that means the ghost is nearby or has like spawned or something like that, I don't know. I'm hearing noises, guys. I'm hearing some stuff. What is it? Oh my God, it's the ghost. Okay, we need to hide. Uh, how do I crouch? I don't think there's a crouch mechanic. Oh gosh, she's coming towards me. Wait, wait I'm gonna change to the Holy Crystal. Let's use it. Oh, the Holy Crystal isn't working. It's not working. This is not working either. Oh my, okay, she almost got me. This thing is like just bubbling. I, I don't know what it does. I don't know if it's useful, but it's bubbling. And maybe she doesn't like bubbles. So, okay, let's run up the stairs. It's, it's a good job she's pretty slow. Um, I would have been a bit worried. And we managed to juke her. Uh, another bathroom? How many bathrooms does this person have? Okay, let's go in here now. Uh, oh, a hand. Very nice. Um, I didn't pick it up. Oh, wait, I just randomly used my holy crystal for some reason. I wasn't meant to, I wasn't meant to do that. Um, oh god, she's going that way, which is fine, because that's the opposite way of where I'm going. Uh, I randomly used my holy crystal. Um, I'm a little bit sad about that. It might have been useful if she was, like, coming after me or something. Maybe it would have scared her away, because, you know, the power of God and all that. Uh, let's go in here. I uh, don't know why the bed is just randomly in the center of the room like that. It must have been moved, but that is like super bad interior design if that was a thing. But obviously the place has been trashed, so. And another bedroom, same frame, same everything, okay. This, uh, whoever lived here before needs a little bit of, um, of like originality here. You know, maybe a little bit of passion, a, a bit of thought. This door's locked, so maybe, maybe we need a key for that one. So we'll keep our eyes open, see if we find a key. Uh, maybe there's a key in here. What's that? What is that? It's a clock. Okay. Got some like super old games or movies or something. Got a really old joystick. That's pretty cool. Actually, that, that gives me good nostalgia seeing uh, super old game cartridges and uh, game pads and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, there is a key, everyone. Now we can use this to... I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Uh-oh. I'm going to hide. Um. Oh, my God. <gasps> What's this? It's like an electric chair. Oh boy, I don't want to go in there. Strap me in. <gasps> That's a torture thing. Actually, I think this is just an electric chair. Uh-oh, she's nearby. Um, turn my flashlight off. Maybe she won't see me. If I can't see her, she can't see me. That's my strategy here. What else? We've got a hand. I've got my, my ghost thing. I've got my hand. Actually, these are all on my body. Uh-oh, this could be bad. Oh boy. 
Where is she? I don't think she found me. I mean, I'm making my presence pretty obvious. Okay, where was that door that was locked? I have a key now, so I can like open it. And uh, there is, there's the key. Okay, let's let's look around. All right, she's just going off in wherever. Uh oh, it's bad. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, this is really, really, really bad, guys. Um, can I jump on the bed or something? Oh my god. No. 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 Juka. Okay. Yeah, it's so easy to Juka. Wait, where did she go? Maybe the holy crystal just saved me then. She just magically disappeared. Okay, I need the key now. I just randomly dropped my, um, there we go. Oh my god. So you know when that ghostly sound effect happens? I think that means she spawns at like a random point in the house. Um, oh, she's actually really close. And this is a dead end. Oh no, okay, I think I'm gonna die, guys. <gasps> I think she's gonna like grab my eyes, you know, she's missing her eyes. I won't be surprised if she like clucks them out and shoves them in her face. Oh, she killed me. Okay, I'm not too sure exactly what she did to kill me, but whatever it was, it worked pretty well. So that was Paranormal Hunter, the demo. Uh, it's got a lot of potential, actually. I do think the uh, the graphics are good. I mean, whatever they use, maybe um, Unreal Engine or whatever it was. Unity, I think it's called, maybe. Uh, they, they made it, and it's uh, it's pretty well put together, so I give them credit for that. It's very, very basic right now, but I'm sure they're going to add maybe a lot more stuff to it, so uh, a lot of potential here. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, two horror games, Amanda the Adventurer and Paranormal Hunter. I hope it was fun for you to watch, and uh, as always, uh, I hope you all have a very good day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everyone. Yes, 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 yes,